Well, hello guys, Amazing Lego 123 here, and this time, as you can see, we will be taking a look at the Lego Chima character encyclopedia. As you can see, it comes with the exclusive Phoenix minifigure Firox, which is, looks like a pretty cool Phoenix. It's got a close design to uh, Firox. And then, as you can see on the front, uh, we've just got some of the basic characters actually. Uh, the seven heroes from the outlines actually, Laval, Eris, Krago, Razor, Rover, and Gorzan, and Warriors. And then uh, in here we just got a little picture of Laval. And then that is where you can take out Fire Rocks. <coughs> and then see that you look out to the like second page. And then we got the content. So we actually have each tribe is a uh, Divided up into different sections: so crocodile, eagle, razor, wolf, gorilla, rhino, nomads, the outland tribes, and then the fire tribes, and then the hunter tribes. So, without further ado, we need we want to take a look at this mini figure. But first of all, he is going to be quite similar to this mini figure, but so, yeah, but it's so nice that he's a nice little exclusive character we get in this book. And let's just pop him open. So there's actually no tape on this whatsoever, so that's interesting. But here are all the pieces we get on him. Move the book aside for a second. And that's where his wings and the little clips are held in. But anyway, this is Firebox. And he looks like a really interesting figure. The torso and legs is exactly the same as Frax. And in fact, I'll just put his wings on just to make him look complete. There we go. So, uh, yeah, here's a little quick comparison between Fire Rocks and Frax. And as you can see, he does pretty much come ready built. So, we only had to put the wings on. And uh, as you can see, everything except the head is different. So, as you can see with the head printing, we've got the uh, little goggles on there, but that's about it. And then as for the face, as you can see, he has got goggles on his eyes now, so that's nice that that lines up with the goggles he has on his uh, head. And then on the back, you can see, it's pretty much the same face, not really much of a difference. But yeah, that's Fire Rocks the Phoenix, and he, along with Frax, uh, is one of the uh, pilots of the uh, flying part of the Phoenix Temple. And then fire, uh, and then fire rocks actually like commands the death. But anyway, let's just collect this new section back in here. Take a quick, good look at this book. So we've seen the contents. Now we've got a little page which says "Welcome to Chima." And then there's a little how to use this book. Yeah, so just pause if you want to read that. And also, pause if you want to read that. And then we've got a nice picture of Mark Vaughan. Animal head carvings appeared when animals first drank the waters of tree. Powerful energy keeps Mount Kavora suspended in the air. Mount Kavora has been threatened many times by the tree hungry outland tribes, most recently the icy hunter tribes. Many of Chima's plants have medical properties. See Kula on page 33 for more information. Chi waterfalls flow down from Makamura and the Chi flows into rivers that gather in the Lion Temple. So, yeah, there's a quick uh, read of Makamura. And then we have the history of Chi. So, first of all, pause if you want to read that. And then pause if you want to read that. Yeah. And then you can see Cracker once sought she above all else, but he has since fought to protect you from evil. 
Did you know there are three types of cheese? Standard blue cheese, golden cheese, one at speed or races, and the rare fire cheese. And then here we have a picture of the map room. Okay. And then we've got a little little uh, text about speed on it, so just pause if you want to read that. And then also pause if you want to read that. And I'm going to skip a couple of pages. But first of all, you can see you've got regular Laval and 2013 G Laval. So, um, yeah, here's a quick look at Laval's pages. I'm not going to really show much reading because I uh, just want to give you a quick look so you can see what the encyclopedia is like. See the difference compared to the usual one. Cheap Power Laval is more than twice as tall. And then we've got the Gravis and Leonidas. Mm, Longtooth and Lennox. And then we've got the Sacred Lion Temple, which that is a really big set from last year. We've got the Lion Legend Beast. Revertus, aka Shadow Wind. And then Revertus' Twin Blade, aka the Wind Shadow. If you've seen episode 24, I believe it was a TV. With the Laval's Royal Fighter. Laval's Fire Lion, and Lennox's uh, Lion Attack. Then we have the Lion Fire Weapons. And then moving on to the Crocodile Tribe. And here we have Cragger, of course, and then Cheat Cragger from 2013. Moving on, we have Colonus, Long Lost King, and Cooler. Crawly and Pug. We've got the Crop Swamp Hideout, which is a very cool set as well. Fragger's Command Ship, Corey's Quarry Club, and the Crocodile Legends. And then Fragger's Fire Striker from this year, which is an epic set. And then the Crocodile Tribe Weapons, Swampy Creation, it says. And then moving on, we've got the Eagle Tribe here. I'm just going to go through these a bit quicker. So, Eris and Chief, Eris, Kila and Eglo, Ewar and Ewald, Eagle Castle, Twin, Twin Light, Ultra Striker, Eagle Inceptor, Lord Eglis. Eris is Fire Eagle Fly. And Eagle Tribe Weapons. Next, we've got the Raven Tribe. Razor and then Chi Razor. Rosum, Razcal. Rizzo, Razor's Chi Raider. And then Razcal's Glider and the Raven Weapon. Borrowed gadgets. Wolf Tribe. Warriors, Chi Warriors. Windsor, Wolfhead. Windra, Wax. And then Wax Pack Tracker. And the Wolf Ready Beast. And then of course Warriors' Combat Blur. And then the Wolf Tribe Weapons. Team Controls. And then we go on to the Grove Tribe. And then we've got Gozan. And then Chi Gozan. Garuna and Grumla. Grizzum and Gorilla Legendary. Gozan's Gorilla Spectre. Gorilla Tribe Weapons. And then the Lion Tribe. So there won't be much here. Yeah, Rogan, Banana. And Rogan's Rock Flinger. And they run no weapons. And then we've got the Nomads, which is just skin it in 30. So they don't. And they 
Let's go see it. Scan it and go to it. And then we're moving on to the Outland tribes. So these are the tribes that were introduced at the start of this year. Rapture and Blister. And I'm just going to skip ahead a bit. Quick bit, because there is a bit more to show in here. And I'll have a run just these Outland things. This is a really cool book. Definitely recommend it for any Chima fan. As you can see here, we've got the Fire Tribes, which are really like Phoenixes. You see Freemanox and Flinks there. Firox, which is the mini thing we get in this uh, book, so it's nice to get this book for a nice little exclusive book because I know Phoenix Tribe is one of the rarest tribes because they only actually really come in one set each, which each variant is only going to be in one set. And here you can see the set that comes in, which is Fraxus Phoenix Fly, the little poly bag. And yeah, Fall Tracks, which is the uh, which is the guy that actually pilots the uh, flying part of the temple, and then the other two just pilot the cannons and stuff. And Tormac, Lindor, Layella, and then the actual temple itself, which is a really big set. It's actually the biggest Chima set there is. Then we got the Fire Tribe weapons, and then the Fire Suits gifts from the Phoenix. We got Rizal, Gravis, Laval, Eris, Warriors, and Kragel is there. And here we have the Hunter Tribes. These are the ones that are freezing Shima. So Sifangar and Stealthor, Strainor, Psychor. And uh, that's actually an interesting fact down there. Did you know Psychor hasn't learned how to talk? He just growls at everyone and everything. There's no need for words when you're this big. So that's an interesting fact about Psycho, he just doesn't know how to talk. And another thing that's really funny, on Strainor's fact file, he likes being far away from Psycho, he dislikes his job, babysitting Psycho, best pal stealth or arch enemy Psycho. So that's pretty funny, his own enemies of his tribe. Moro, Motrox, which they in this show have a pretty funny story. He's always shouting at Mark for everything he says. Then Mungus, Vardy here. So we're moving on to the vultures. Vornon, which Mr. Negative again suits his uh, personality in the TV show. And then Vroom Vroom. And then we have Sir Fangar's Ice Fortress, which again is an epic set. And uh, uh, just read that to you if you want to. Uh, if you want to, underneath the ice fortress lies a labyrinth of caves where Sir Fangar keeps the frozen bodies of his vanquished foes. And then, uh, we're almost at the end of it. We've got Sir Fangar's Sabertooth Walker, Mauler's Ice Mammoth Stomper, Ice Water Glider, and then the Hunter Tribe Weapons. And then we just got a minifigure gallery from 2013 all the way to 2014. Here. So we've got every single minifigure listed here. And then there's the rest of the minifigures. And then actually we also have a set gallery. So as you can see, we've got all the 2013 sets listed on this side, including the new for those 2013. And then we've got all of the 2014 sets listed on the side, all the way starting from the Outlands, all the way to Five Winter's Eyes, including the Ultra Girls. And then, right in the back, we've just got the Acknowledgements page. And in the back, just read that if you want to, because this book is really interesting. I definitely recommend that if you find this, you will pick it up. And uh, as you can see in the UK, that is the price, 14 99 and uh, yeah, that's about it for this review. So uh, definitely recommend you go pick this book up if you want uh, an exclusive Phoenix first of all. So this is the only way you're going to get this Phoenix in if you get this book. And uh, just recommend it because it's perfect for any team of fan out there. Because it just gives you an inside uh, story of everything from Chima all the way from the start of last year all the way to the end of this year so yeah that's about it for this uh, review so please like comment subscribe and i'll see you again very soon bye